some time. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. So I'm currently out here on the Cape Fear River today. If you guys have been following along with the channel for a little while now, you guys might remember me coming out here a few times in the past. You know, I've done bass fishing, which is what we're gonna do today. And then I've also done striper fishing out here on the Cape Fear River. Pretty excited to get back out here. Gonna be going after largemouth bass today. It's the main targeted species, but there's a chance we could run into a few different ones here and there. But bass is what I'm after today. It's been a while since I've done any bass fishing at all. You know, I've just been doing a lot of saltwater fishing, mostly inshore and stuff. So if anyone's new here, um, what's up? My name is Jamie. And if you guys want to check out more of my videos, I got, you know, a bunch of freshwater stuff here in North Carolina and saltwater stuff as well. You know, we're getting a lot of cooler nights. The days are getting shorter. So hopefully it has these fish getting in that fall mood. Hopefully it has them feeding up some. I'm excited to stay tuned y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So we uh, just got to my first spot of the day and uh, started raining on my way over here. And uh, I'm not really complaining about that. It kind of is good for what I want to do today, which is some frog fishing. Haven't really done much frog fishing in a while. So hopefully we can get some on that. But if, if not the frog, I got some like jigs. I got a little soft plastic fluke tied on. I got a chatterbait and stuff. We're gonna mess around and see what happens, but I'm gonna see if they want the frog first. Hopefully we can get some on that. The rain's picking up right now, which is just great. So we weren't supposed to get a lot. I think it'll blow through in a second and I'm gonna wish I had this in about an hour or so once it gets hot again. But that was my first cast with a bait caster in probably months and it was pretty good. So I'll take it. I'm starting off at the front of this creek uh, the main river's over here. We got a little creek arm right here that runs up way, way back up in, into the swampy areas. As you can probably tell, we got a lot of vegetation, cypress knees. I'm fishing 50 pound braid. Hopefully they're gonna be around this heavy cover. I mean, I'll, I'll take fish anywhere, but. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's the first fish of the day. Wasn't even paying attention. And first largemouth for me in quite some time that feels good thank you buddy and first fish of the day i'll take him for sure so a little topwater frog hell yeah thank you buddy just blew up right there in that vegetation right just what i was talking about golden really dark colored bass as you can probably tell this water it's like coffee or like sweet tea like it's super dark so this fish he's gonna naturally have these really dark colors beautiful little bass Awesome, it's been a while since I caught a little largemouth. It feels good, so get him back in the water. Need to be careful around the water. There are alligators, so I'm not gonna keep my hands in there for too long, but sick. All right, Charles, that didn't take long at all. Hopefully we can get some more doing that. Hopefully this rain kind of blows over soon, and hopefully we can get some more fish on top water. Feels good to be back out here doing some freshwater fishing, some bass fishing, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some more, y'all stay tuned. Second bite of the day. It didn't stay on, but it was a fish.
Oh my god. Yo, what was that? I think it was a bow fin. Pointing it again. Holy crap, I saw something waking behind it and I was like, is that a fish behind my bait? And sure enough, huge blow up, oh my god. And I mean, that would be fun as hell, a bow fin on, on a frog, that would be a whole lot of fun. So if that wants to do that again, that would be cool. There's something. Oh, it came off again. That's got to be a bowfin. Oh my god, y'all. I cannot believe how hard it is to catch fish right now. I think that was a bowfin messing with me. It felt big at first, and then he just came off. First bite I've gotten in like another like two hours, probably. Finally, a freaking largemouth. Get up in that boat. Thank you, buddy. Look at that, it came right off. Look at that, y'all. Finally, second fish of the day in the boat. God, he took way too long. Now they're about the same size, little cookie cutter size, but <sighs> hopefully I can catch some more though before the, uh, the day is over. Just right in the same area, I literally hooked that one fish. I think that, that first fish, I think it was a bowfin. It was just, hook set dead weight this guy he was tap tap tap, tap 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 and i set it and got him in and definitely felt different but finally same little area though right there a little large mouth yeah i'll take him that feels good oh, there he goes oh well y'all i don't know what the hell is going on i would think you'd think that'd be eating a frog right now but maybe it's just like a shaky head or something just that little large mouth on a, on a flipping jig I've been fishing, I'm in a different creek now. Yeah, I've been really sticking with the frog because that's, I just had that on my mind. I was like, I, I really wanna go catch some frog fish. I've, I've just been fishing that a, l a lot lately. I've been kind of stubborn, so I probably could have switched to some uh, other lures, but I just feel like they would be eating a frog. For whatever reason, it doesn't really seem like they want it right now. We'll, uh, we'll keep trying that, this little flipping jig. I'll, I'll probably try it for another 30 minutes, but we're gonna keep on trucking and see if we can't get some more, y'all. So stay tuned and See if we can get some more fish. There we go, there's another one. Way smaller, but I'll take them right now. All right, well, I don't know if I'm getting into a better area or what. what's going on, I mean, I'm, I've changed to a jig from a frog. You know, I've been using the frog all day, but she was doing something right. I was really hoping they'd be eating the frog. I really wish they were, but it is what it is. Can't really complain. At least I'm catching fish. I don't, you know, you, you can't make the rules. You can't force them to eat a frog, but I'm so surprised they're not eating better right now, but they're just not, and there's not really much you can do about that. Ooh, I think I just had another bite. And I found the honey hole another bite and that that last one was was within about 10 minutes of those other two there's another one oh oh i might switch like a shaky head or something oh i saw another why is my 
drag that set right. There's another one. I think my drag was going to slip on that. That was weird. I could not tell if that was a fish or not. because I didn't feel a bite or anything, but my, it looked like my line was just barely moving off to the side. Alright, well, we're finding some fish. Thank you, buddy. Maybe I won't have to scrap this video now because it was looking like that for a while. It doesn't seem like they like it fast. It seems like they're they're liking it kind of slow, which is so weird. You know, the water's 71 back here, which is not cold at all. Even though we're getting into fall, they shouldn't be wanting to eat it like that. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's like a perfect temperature, and that they're eating it very very softly, and they want it very slow. But I don't know. That's two out of the same spot right here. I don't know if I hit a, a honey hole or what, but if there's fish back here i'm just gonna keep casting around for a second and i told myself because it gets really thick right here there's a bunch of wood hanging down and stuff i was like all right if i don't get any bites before this spot i'm just gonna leave and of course i get two right here that one just hit twice There we go, there's one. Finally on top water. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Just had to throw the buzz bait at him. Little guy, but still a lot of fun, especially on a on a buzz bait on top water. At least I got a couple on top water today. There he goes. Alright, that guy just came off a little black buzz bait. We got a lot of low light right now, so. Decided to pick up another top water and just something that I can cover a little bit more water with. And I threw it right in that little pocket up there on the bank and he hit it right off the bank. I threw it back in there a couple times and he came up and grabbed it. So. So I'm back out here on the Cape Fear. So I decided to come back out here again. And uh, actually one of my viewers, one of y'all, saw my car and my trailer at the ramp here and uh, sent me a picture of it on Instagram. I was like, yo, you catch him today? Uh, his name was Chris, so shout out Chris. He asked me how I did that day and um, if I caught any. And I told him, you know, I was kind of struggling. I was fishing in the creeks and stuff. And he ended up telling me that the fish are still on the main river system, which I didn't really think to fish that much. You know, I, I, I thought maybe they'd be back in the creeks. I just kind of wanted to fish back there and wanted the fish to be back there. Kind of thought, you know, maybe I should check the main river system but i never did and of course chris tells me that that they're out here on the main river system so we're back out here for another day we're going to try to get on to some another thing that chris said is that you know they're on the main river system still and they're on ditches and like little creek mouths on a falling tide so that's what we're going to try to do today we're going to try to get on to some y'all and uh, once again shout out chris for giving me some tips i really appreciate it man and with all that being said y'all i'm about to get some lines in the water see if we can't get a few fish stay tuned y'all I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, see if we can get some bass out here on the Cape Fear River. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a little spinner bait out here on kind of a small, like smaller creek mouth, a little ditch kind of thing. Fishing that right now, just off of the main river. There we go, there's one. Right there, that didn't take too long. Again, just right on the corner on that little point coming out of that creek mouth, and sure enough, he was right there. It's a pretty decent one, too. Just got him on a spinner bait. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, I'll take him. First, another again, first like 15 minutes into fishing, he just smacked that little spinner bait. Perfect little bait for fishing in the fall and especially fishing in an area like this with a lot of cover. Spinner baits are typically pretty weedless. And there we go, all right. Chris, thank you. I'm gonna name this bass Chris after you. I really appreciate it, my guy. 
Oh, that means a lot. All right, sick. First like 10 minutes into fishing, y'all. Mouth of a little creek, a little ditch. I cast it up, up and around that little point and it kind of funnels in and he was just, I, I made a cast and I, honestly, I wanted to go past it, but I accidentally went right on the point. There's a little bit of wood and stuff right there, but he still, he still grabbed that spinner bait. Not, not a giant, but I'll definitely take him, especially this early. Get back down there, buddy. I'm gonna keep trying this. I have a feeling that this could be good. I got a few other things tied on, some top waters and stuff, but I'll definitely take a fish on a spinner bait right now. Perfect fall bait for just about anywhere in the country you can catch them on a spinner bait. So we're gonna keep trying this, y'all. Stay tuned. And once again, thank you, Chris. We're gonna see if we get some more, y'all. Stay tuned. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> Look what we got here, y'all. Hey, I'll take this any day. Decent size little crappie. Thank you, buddy. Maybe there's some more in here. We're gonna have a little fish fry. Oh, there he goes. There we go, there's one. That feels like a pretty decent one. Finally. Oh, it's a bowfin. Oh my God, it's a big bowfin. Look at that guy. Well, not the intended species, but I'll take him. Oh my God, yeah, it's a big old bowfin. He's got the spinnerbait all twisted up. Oh my God. I'm surprised it took me this long to, to hook one of these guys. Okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Oh my God, he's huge. He's gotta be like seven pounds. All right, well, I was wondering why I'd get one of these guys. He did not feel like, it. I thought it was gonna be a little bass at first. And they just fight so differently. Look at that, y'all. Big old bowfin. Crazy looking fish right there. That is just so sick. Big prehistoric guy. These guys have been around since the dinosaurs, so. All right, you're biting. <laughs> there you go. He was biting on the fish grips. He kind of jacked, look at that. Completely jacked up my spinner bait. Honestly, I thought it would have been sooner when I would have caught one of those, but um, I think I did hook into a couple of them the other day. That one actually just, he actually bit it good enough to stay on, so. Oh, he ate the frog. That was sick. Oh my gosh, that was so sick. Hardly even heard the bite, it just turned around. There was a swirl. Oh, nice. Well, found the, the bowfin honey hole. Come here, buddy. Yep, 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 yep. I know. God, he's thick. I didn't even see the top water bite. I just I turned around to look at something and then I hear like a little bit, like a little tiny splash. My frog's gone and there's a swirl. Oh my God. There we go. Thought that was gonna be harder. All right, another bow fin on top water that time. That was pretty sick actually. Kick off good, probably kick off once he's in the water. Honestly, I, that was pretty fun. So definitely take another bow fin on top water. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, y'all. See if we get some more.
All right, y'all, so after that boat fin, I ended up not catching anything else for the rest of the day. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I definitely wish I could have caught some more bass, but it is what it is. Still had a lot of fun with those boat fin and even that little crappie, which made for a pretty fun multi-species video. Felt really good to get back into the freshwater. It's been a while. You know, I've been doing a lot of saltwater fishing recently and it definitely felt good to go catch some bass again. So yeah, y'all, that's about it for today's video. I just wanna apologize real quick for the little hiatus. I think it's been like a month since I uploaded anything and it's really just because I've been busy with some stuff at home and just haven't been able to film and edit but i got some awesome videos on the way i'm trying to get back onto a weekly upload schedule so hopefully expect another video out next week and uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely leave a like and if you want to see more make sure you subscribe share this video with a friend if you think they might enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace Oh, sick. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's the first fish of the day.